So, today we're going to be taking a look at the Frere, I'm going to get Berkshire on the pronunciation of that, Frere Axe um, by CRKT. Uh, this axe is a, I don't know, they call it axe, it's to my mind, it's kind of halfway between an axe and a hatchet. Um, it's got a good handle on it, but really it's one-handed instead of two-handed. So, in my mind, that makes more of a hatchet. But hey, whatever. Anyways, so, what is CRKT saying about this bad boy? It's a bearded design, which means your axe head comes across, attaches the handle at the top, and you've got this beard that comes down, which gives you the ability to choke your hand up very high like that, meaning that you can do a lot of really, really fine shaving, okay? Um, it gives you a ton of control over the axe head and what you're doing with it. If you're trying to, say, use this as a substitute for a knife in some instances, it can let you do a lot of more fine work than you would normally do with an axe. So I actually like that head design a lot. Um, so CRKT is saying that on this model, let's see, it's got a magnesium phosphate coating. The head is made out of 1055 steel, and it's got a Tennessee hickory handle for strength. So blade length is blade length is four and a half inches. Overall length is 16 inches, and it weighs one pound 12 ounces. Um, yeah, Just trying to find a handle too. All right, so overall. I have been using this thing for a couple months now. I've been chopping with it. I've been splitting with it a little bit. Um, taking it on some backpacking trips with me. Uh, I'll roll some video in so you guys can check that out. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It is fairly light. It's a little heavier than some of your more modern, you know, composite handled hatchets and stuff like that. But it's not too bad um, to strap onto the side of a pack. It, it does give you the ability to chop pretty well because you can use it two-handed if you want. Um, it's The handle is very comfortable. It's not round. It's kind of a oval shape with a nice heel on the end, which I very much like as a design feature when they throw that on there because it keeps your hand from, from slipping off when you're doing uh, one-handed chopping. It is very smooth. Okay, So some of you who are inclined might want to do a wrap or something like that on it. Uh, it is smooth. I did not have trouble with my hand slipping off of there uh, when I was using it. And I've used it when it was wet and rainy out and stuff. I'll roll some video into that. So I've been pretty happy with that overall. Um, when it comes to durability, right? If, that was, if you're flipping through the Amazon reviews on this bad boy, you're thinking about picking it up. The main two things you're going to see on the negative reviews are some people complain about the head coming loose. And some people complain that it was coming not totally sharp. So, on the first one, head coming loose. I've been using this thing decently well. There you can see the staking on the head. Uh, it hasn't come loose. It's tight as the day I got it. I have noticed in pictures I've seen, um, some of them have kind of the more traditional, like, flat staking, and some have these circles. I don't know if that's a design difference after the complaints, like a generational change, or what the deal is, but that is something I noticed, and I have not had any problems with the head coming loose on this. Uh, as far as sharpness goes, uh, yeah, this thing came... We'll be generous and say half sharp. <laughs> um, like, you could have chopped with it, I think, but you would have been wasting a lot of effort, because it was not what I would consider usably sharp uh, as far as like a hatchet or an outdoor tool goes. So I did have to resharpen it and get it usable before I took it out into the woods. Uh, come on guys, <laughs> you know, I've used a lot of CRKT's knives and other tools, uh, hatchets and stuff, and all their knives come super sharp. Sharpen, I have other hatchets from the same company. Sharpen it up. I don't know if that's a safety thing or if it's a quality control thing and some are coming sharp and some aren't. It's hard to tell if you read the reviews because what is this rando person on Amazon's idea of what sharp is? Um, 
have they ever even been in the woods before? Are they even using it for anything? You know, uh, but as someone who takes this thing out and uses it, I mean, you can see it's got right dirt and grime on it, or I've been beating on stuff. Um, it was not usably sharp when I got it, so just keep that in mind. It's not a hard thing to sharpen it up. And if you're someone who's going to be taking it out and using it, you know how to sharpen an axe. So that's not a huge deal. But durability has been great otherwise. The finish is held up. The handle is held up. Um, and let's be honest, aesthetics are great. Like, it looks really cool. Um, you know, it's got a great kind of old-fashioned Norse look uh, that you don't see in a lot of other stuff. And that's why I've been using a lot of the CR uh, KT stuff is they just have some very, very uniquely designed stuff coming out. The... Uh, Forge and Battle, or Battle Forge series they're doing, I can't remember which one, uh, is very cool. They're putting out a lot of good stuff like this that are very, very unique designs that we haven't seen on the market in a way that's really accessible to a lot of people for decent price, for decent quality. There's always been some custom guys out there making axes like this, or hatches like this, whatever you want to call it, but their custom-made pieces are very expensive. Or you go the other way and you get like the fucking... Etsy or whatever made in Taiwan garbage, which this is probably made overseas too, I imagine. Which I'm almost positive it is. But you get my point. It was either one end of the spectrum or the other. So CRKT and Cold Steel are two companies that are making decent quality stuff for what you pay. Um, I want to say this is running like 80 bucks. Let me check real quick here. I paid like 80 bucks for it, maybe less, maybe 70, I can't remember, anyways, uh, but the price for what you're paying is good, okay, so uh, I would recommend it, just be aware you're probably going to have to sharpen it, other than that it's holding up great, I keep it in my truck in case I live in a rural area, you get trees down, you get branches down, every once in a while you got to clear the road a little bit, it's great for that, um, it's not bad for packing, if you're super, super conscious about weight, maybe go with a little more modern purpose-built option but or if you just like it because it looks cool because it does look cool go with that but if you can find one for a price that works for you i definitely pick it up uh hopefully this has been helpful and you guys have enjoyed some of the video of me using it don't be shy about liking or subscribing and let me know what you want to see more of i'm always looking for ideas and i will talk to you guys later